There is only one thing that could make the tiny little town of Strzyżow in Poland's southeast an even more beautiful place. Less dirty coal smoke in the air. When the heating season starts in private homes in late October, a veal of coal dust regularly covers this remote but flourishing hilly farming area that aims to be one of Poland's future prime tourist destinations. 60-year-old Jadwiga Wopata was born in this town with a population of 2,000. She returned after years living abroad in the Netherlands. Together with family and friends, she founded the eco-center 15 years ago. It has since become the place for a new Polish eco-movement in the countryside. Her goal? The fight against coal. If we want to be as a tourist area, we have to have nice, clean air. We can't just let it using coal and so on. We, we have enough technology to use renewable energy. So that's the whole idea behind Jadwiga, a cheerful and inspiring lady wearing a red hat with flowers attached, has a clear mission. The eco-center should set an example for Poland's roughly one million family farms, demonstrating that farming and eco-friendly behavior go together nicely. Her idea? Reducing greenhouse gas emissions by burning less coal can be a way to generate direct income via tourism. So now we extend this idea uh, of tourism, using tourism as a vehicle for educating farmers and educating also public. That means we are now uh, promoting and searching for the farms which are giving good food, which are located in one p nice place, but also which are using renewable energy. Particularly we are speaking about solar energy That's why we call our project Solar Poland, Holiday with the Sun. 19 farms in the nearby province of Malopolska have already been granted the title Solar Farms. That means they fulfill Jadwiga's strict criteria on organic farming, renewable energy use and a holiday-friendly environment. Next spring, the project will be expanded to three other provinces with around 18 new farms joining the movement. Whilst the Polish national energy strategy remains coal-focused, Jadwiga's international coalition to protect the Polish countryside has convinced many local politicians to change their mind. For 33-year-old Chris Wieczny, the old farmhouse building of the eco-center itself is the best showcase for how well energy-saving and rural Polish farm life can go together. Chris, managing director of his own small photovoltaic business, has been one of the driving forces behind the eco-center, inspired like his mother Jadwiga by the ecological movement in the Netherlands. Poland needs such a place where people can see how different ecological uh, technologies work in practice. So if no one else on the central level, on the um, university level, doesn't want to do it, then perhaps we'll do it and... That was it. <laughs> the eco-center uses solar panels, a mini windmill and a wood-fired stove for its energy. But unlike Western-style eco-movements, Chris argues, the new Polish eco-movement puts a lot of emphasis on the traditional wisdom of rural farmers who were forced by poverty to adopt an energy-efficient lifestyle. Jadwiga's example is the wood-fired stove in the kitchen, which she uses for multiple purposes. First for heating the house, second for cooking the meal, and the third, you can see, I am drying here fruits, yeah, in the oven. In the oven you can also bake, I have also oven for baking bread. I am drying uh, beans because it's so much warm, and also inside there are pipe and we are heating the water. So it is really perfect all type but very perfect solution for the future. For her grassroots work, Jadwiga was awarded the Goldman Environmental Prize more than 10 years ago, honoring her persistent lobbying for a coal-free Poland, as well as her opposition to genetically modified plants in Poland. But it is only in recent years that a young urban elite has caught up with the trend and started to support things such as organic food. Edita is a 30-year-old university employee who has come to a workshop on traditional house building using clay and straw. She remains somewhat skeptical. But still, you know, mainstream attitude towards living, towards ecology in Poland is that it's good 
to live in a comfort way. The more comfort in life, the better. In stretch of itself, the anti-coal activists from the International Coalition to Protect the Polish Countryside have their work cut out for them. Most chimneys in town are still belching out coal smoke even after years of local activism. For Jadwiga Wopata, there's still plenty of work to be done. It is on the move. Of course, it, in, you know, I will wish there would be much more, but well, it is on the move. <laughs>